Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can I have a little more energy out there? Can we raise a cheer? Come on, a lot of noise. Whatever you want to do. If you want to whistle, please whistle. If you want to clap, clap. If you want to boo, please boo. Can I have some energy? Okay, we're going to be warming up very shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And welcome to the evening of rewards and accolades, rewards and recognitions. A celebration of innovation and excellence of performance that raises the bar and accomplishment that scales new milestones, new horizons. Welcome to India's Retail Champions and the Retail Startup Awards 2023. I'm Hugo D'Souza and with me is my very charming co-host Shalaka Apte. Yes, Hugo, it's going to be a wonderful evening full of excitement and enthusiasm. And of course, after the awards, we can expect uh, an evening, a very spirited and entertaining evening. Absolutely. You've got something fabulous lined up for you. Before it gets too spirited, we'll finish the awards. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with India's Retail Champions. Brought to you by Retailers Association of India. Retail is at an interesting juncture in India with new brands and formats entering the market and the old ones reinventing themselves. Consumption is on the rise, driven by entrepreneurs and an increase in per capita income. Technology is adding interesting facets and twists by facilitating innovative business modules, aiding efficiency and redefining both customer expectations as well as their experience. The big retail churn is not just revolutionizing Indian retail, but it's also separating the winners from the laggards. Brands that have their fundamentals right and are focused on all the right things are emerging as trendsetters. The India's retail champions have been instituted to shine the spotlight on these stars of retail who have shown bright despite all odds. Absolutely, Shalaka, it is a recognition of their efforts, their hard work, their commitment, the salute to their indomitable spirit besides, despite the odds and despite the challenges of the times. I shall now invite on stage uh, Mr. Kumar Rajakopalan to set the tone for this wonderful evening and welcome us to India Retail Champions and India Startup Awards. Good evening. Good evening. Make some noise. So thank you for being here. Uh, this was an award that was instituted about five years ago in order to recognize champions in retail. I know this is not an easy job. There are some good days, some not so good days. Never a boring day in retail. Having said that, champions and when they win an award, get egg to do better. So this is our humble, uh, let, let's say, offering for champions in this industry. Uh, all of you who entered for this championship, congratulations, because fact is that each one of you are moving this engine forward. Thank you as an industry, I think all of us are together in this place to make sure that we really cheer the champions. So as loud as you can get when the champions get their awards. Is that okay? Thank you very much. Have a great time. Thank you very much, Mr. Kumar Rajakubalan. I would now like to invite Dr. Hitesh Bhatt on stage to share with us the eligibility criteria and the various other judging criteria for the India Retail Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Hitesh Bhatt. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. So, first come first, let's start with the categories. This is the sixth edition of India Retail Champions Awards. And uh, this year the categories are Apparel and Lifestyle, Beauty and Wellness, Consumer Durables and IT, Department Stores, uh, Emerging Retailer of the Year, Food and General Retail, Large Format over 5,000 square feet, uh, Food and General Retail, Small Format below 5,000 square feet, Footwear, Home Decor, Home Improvement, Jewelry, Restaurant and QSR and Specialty Retail. <coughs> I remember when we started the India Retail Champions Awards, we were uh, having close to 8 or 10 odd categories. But today we have you know, gone up to I think 13 odd categories. Uh, next, uh, we will go to the 
award process. Okay, now how the award process is, a panel of uh, eminent personalities from the industry for, uh, form the jury who thoroughly evaluated the entries shortlisted by a reputed agency to select the winners. Eligibility criteria, the company should be registered under Indian law, any other criteria as decided by the awards jury uh, will be final and decision of Rai jury regarding terms and conditions, eligibility and selection will be deemed final. And then let's go to the last uh, thing that is the judging parameters. All the entries were judged on the following parameters, uh, business economics, uh, current financial health, financial growth in the last year, innovativeness, how uh, innovative the brand has been in the past year, last few years. Uh, then we have got uh, growth and expansion, presence in market both offline and online based on the number of outlets and presence on other channels. Other channels means uh, all the other offline, online and uh, likewise. Adoptability, how well has the brand been able to adopt to the needs of the omni-channel customers, changing market conditions based on years of ex uh, existence and achievements over the years. And the last is the brand impact. Uh, familiarity, popularity of the brand, overall brand perception of the retail brand in the market based on brand familiarity and awards and achievements. Uh, these were the judging parameters. And the grand jury were uh, Mr. Anuj Puri and uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Abhik Singhi from BCG. So with this, uh, I would, I would uh, you know, hand over this to Hugo and Anuj Kejriwal. I'm so sorry, Anuj Kejriwal, yes. Thanks. All the best to, uh, to the winners and congratulations in advance. Thank you very much, Dr. Hitesh Bhatt, for sharing with us those criteria for judging. Ladies and gentlemen, after hearing Dr. Hitesh Bhatt, I know that these are the blue ribbon of awards for retail championships. So please, please be really, really appreciative, loud and cheer our winners home because they've come through a very, very stringent judging process. Thank you once again to our judges, Mr. Anil Kejriwal, Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director of Anarok, and Mr. Abhik Singhi, Senior Partner and Managing Director, Asia Pacific, Leader, Consumer and Retail Practice, BCG. Ladies and gentlemen, we begin with our first category. And let me tell you, we've sometimes, our jury is sometimes presented two, three, four and sometimes even five awards in a category because the competition has been so so tough and the standard of excellence has been that there may be five awards in the category four three every award is of equal stature there's no first second third if you're a winner you are a winner even if there are five in the category. So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with the category Apparel and Lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, India Retail Champion in Apparel and Lifestyle is High Design. Workout Music Source. I'd like to invite our presenters, Mr. P.S. Nadesh, founder, train, trust for retailers and retail associates of India. Ladies and gentlemen, Team High Design receiving an award from Mr. B. S. Nagesh, founder of Train, Trust for Retailers and Retail Associates of India, a person popularly known as the father of modern retail in India, a World Retail Congress Hall of Famer, and the first employee of Shopper Stop. Sir, Mr. Nagesh, please stay back on stage to present the next award as well. The second award in the apparel and lifestyle category goes to Lakshata. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Team Lakshata. Winner in the apparel and lifestyle category. Not here? Okay, we'll have the award sent to them. Thank you very much, Mr. Nagesh, for doing the honours. Thank you, sir. I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Namit Puri of BCG to present our next two awards. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage Mr. Namath Puri of BCG. Please put your hands together for our presenters and the award winners. Ladies and gentlemen, India Retail Champion, Apparel and Lifestyle, Killer Jeans. Killer Jeans, come on guys. Winners get a trophy and a certificate. Okay, Mr. Puri is going to present our next award. This is also for the apparel and lifestyle category. And this award goes to Team Manyavar. Manyavar, the winner of the India Retail Champions Apparel and Lifestyle Award. No, okay, we'll have the awards sent to them. Thank you very much, Mr. Namat Puri, for doing the honors. I would now like to invite on stage Mr. Biju Kurian, Chairman, Retailers Association of India, to present our next two awards. Ladies and gentlemen, India Retail Champion Award in Beauty and Wellness. And we have two awards in this category. The first of which goes to Sugar Cosmetics. Sugar Cosmetics, come on. Congratulations to the team from Sugar Cosmetics. This category, the second of the two awards. The Body Shop. The Body Shop, our second winner in the Beauty and Wellness category, India Retail Champion Awards. Congratulations, Team Body Shop. Congratulations to Body Shop and thank, thank you, you Mr. Biju Kurian for doing the honours. I'd now like to invite Mr. Kumar Rajakbalan, Chief Executive Officer of Retailers Association of India to present our next two awards. Ladies and gentlemen, we now move into Consumer Durables and IT or CDIT India Retail Champion category. Come on, can we put our hands together for Mr. Kumar Rajakopalan? I said the presenters and the award winners. Let's keep the applause going. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner in the consumer durables and IT, that CDIT category is Happy Mobiles. Happy Mobiles. Come on. Okay, Happy Mobiles is not here. So we'll move on to our next award. Moving on to the department store category. And this award goes to Shopper Stop Limited. Shopper Stop Limited, the winner in the department store category. Wow, the 
they say teamwork makes the dream work and I think that's a lovely, lovely gesture. Congratulations Team Shopper Stop. Congratulations to Team Shopper Stop. And thank you, Mr. Kumar Rajukbalan, for doing the honors. I'd li like to invite on stage Dr. Hitesh Bhatt, Director of Marketing and Communications, Retail Associate of India, and Editorial Director of Storai, to present our next three awards. Ladies and gentlemen, we now go to the India Retail Champion Awards for Emerging Retailer of the Year. Retailers who have been innovative and disruptive over the last five years. And we have no fewer than five awards in this category. Ladies and gentlemen, the first of these five goes to Taswa. Come on, I know Taswa is here. Congratulations to Team Taswa. The second award within the Emerging Retailer of the Year category goes to Mr. DIY. Mr. DIY. The second of our winners in the Emerging Retailer of the Year category. And would you believe it? Shalaka and I visited Mr. DIY in Baramaki five days ago. Next time, if you want an award, invite us. And ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our next winner in this category, Emerging Retail of the Year. And the award goes to Nika. Nike are there epitomizing what T-E-A-M stands for. Together, everyone achieves more. Workout Music Source. Congratulations Team Nike and thank you to Dr. Hitesh Pat for doing the honors. I would now like to invite on stage Mr. Atul Mehta of Razor Pay to present our next two awards. Mr. Atul Mehta, can we have a round of applause? for Mr. Atul Mehta as he takes the stage.
first of the five awards in the Emerging Retailer of the Year category goes to Gargi. Gargi, the winner of our next award in the Emerging Retailer of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, the last of our awards, our fifth award in the Emerging Retail of the Year category for innovation and disruption in the last five years goes to Decathlon. We have one person who was on Tento Hooks out there. Is my name in the award winners? Is my name there? Yes, it is. Decathlon that has revolutionized the sports retail in sports and sportswear. Congratulations, Congratulations. Team Thank you, Mr. Atul Mehta. Thank you, sir. And now to present the next two awards, inviting on stage Mr. Kumar Rajagopalan and Dr. Hitesh Bhatt. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and join me in welcoming Dr. Mr. Kumar Rajagopalan. and general retail large format category and the winner in this category is Lamarsh. Ladies and gentlemen, Lamarsh, the winner in the food and general retail large format category. Congratulations, sir. Our next award is the Food and General Retail Small Format, where we have two awards in the category. The first of which goes to Nuts and Spices. Nuts and Spices, come on, guys, put your hands together. Let's have some love and appreciation. Well, one of them is spices. The second of the second of the two awards in the food and general retail small format category goes to Arambag's Food Mart. Arambag Food Mart, the winner in the food and general retail small format category. Congratulations, team Arambag Food Mart. Thank you, Mr. Kumar. 
Kumar Rajukbalan for doing the honors. I would now like to invite Mr. Vinay Bharthia of Message Bird to present our next two awards. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the India Retail Champion Award brought to you by the Retail Association of India. And we now move into the footwear category. Mr. Vinay Bharthia of Message Bird. I'd like to invite Dr. Hitesh Pat, Director Marketing and Communication, Retail Association of India and Editorial Director of Story. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, India Retail Champion Footwear. We've got two winners in the category, the first of which goes to Sri Leathers. Sri Leathers from Kolkata. Congratulations, sir. Dr. Bhatt, I request you to please stay back. Dr. Bhatt, one more award, sir. One more award, sir. And the second award uh, in this category. We have Mr. Vinay Bharti of Message Bird. Could you kindly join us on stage, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Vinay Bhartia of Message Bird, who is here to present the second award in the footwear category. And the India Retail Champion Award in the footwear category goes to Metro Brands Limited. Congratulations, Team Metro Brands. Mr. Bhartia, could you please present this award as well? Mr. Bhartia, could you please present? Mr. Mr. Bhartia, Bhartia, can you stay back, please? One more award, <laughs> sir. If we might impose on your kindness. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, India Retail Champion, we move into the home decor and home improvement category. And the first of our two awards goes to India Circus by Krishna Mehta, a Godrej venture. India Circus by Krishna Mehta, a Godrej venture. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. And thank you, Mr. Vinay Bhatia, for doing the honors. I'd now like to invite on stage to present our next set of awards, Mr. Suhail Sattar of Hasbro Clothing Limited. Mr. Suhail Sattar, could you please join us on stage and thank you for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, we keep with the home decor and home improvement category and the second of our two winners is Prestige Exclusive. Prestige Exclusive, the winner of our second award in Home Decor and Home Improvement. Well done, sir. Congratulations to Prestige Exclusive Team. Mr. 
Mr. Yes, Sata, Sata, two more awards to present. The first of which, India Retail Champion Jewelry. We've got two awards in the jewelry category. The first of which goes to Vibe of Jewelers. Vibe of Jewelers. And the second winner within the India Retail Champion Award Jewelry category is Swarovski. Swarovski, the winner of the Jewelry category, India. performance if I may say so and thank you very much Mr. Suhail Sattar for doing the honours. Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to invite on stage to present the next three awards. Mr. Gautam Jain, Director Advocacy, RAI. Dr. Lawrence Fernandez, Director of Retail Learning and Membership, RAI, to jointly present the next three awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please give our presenters a loud round of, a warm round of applause. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, India Retail Champion Award moves into the restaurant and QSR category where we have three awards. May I reiterate once again that despite the number of awards being presented in each category, all awards are of equal stature and everyone is a winner. The first of the three awards in the restaurant and QSR category goes to Go Pizza. Go Pizza. Can we have? Wow, it's right there. award staying within the restaurant and QSR category this award goes to Haldi Rams Haldi Rams the winner in the restaurant and QSR category at the India Retail Champions Awards congratulations team Haldi Rams Congratulations, Mr. Team Haldi Rams. Uh, Mr. Fernandez and Mr. Jane, could you please give back one more award? Just one more award. Ladies and gentlemen, the India Retail Champion, again in the restaurant QSR category, is Paradise Biryani.
राइस बिरयानी Congratulations to Team Paradise Biryani and thank you very much Mr Dr Lawrence Fernandez and Mr Gautam Jain ladies and gentlemen the last category has really uh created hunger pangs i'm sure we can't wait to attack the starters and i i'm sure the hotel will do justice to your appetites ladies and gentlemen our final three awards at the India Retail Champions i'd like to invite mr Biju Kodian Chairman Retailers Association of India and Mr Kumar Rajagopalan Chief Executive Officer Retailers Association of India to present the final three awards at the India Retail Champion Awards Ladies and gentlemen can we have a round of applause please make some noise last category is specialty retail we have three awards in this category of which the first award goes to patshala patshala the first of our three winners in the specialty retail category patshala joining us on stage Congratulations team Patshala Still with the specialty sector specialty retail sector and category Our next winner Presto and Cobbler by Presto Presto and Cobbler by Presto Welcome and congratulations Presto and Cobbler by Presto by team Presto and Cobbler Congratulations to the team And now ladies and gentlemen the last India Retail Champion award staying within the specialty retail category and the winner is Great Eastern Trading Company Great Eastern Trading Company the winner in the specialty retail category Congratulations team Great Eastern Trading Company Congratulations to the Great Eastern Trading Company.
And I'll request Mr. Uh, Korean Mr. Rajkopalan to present one final award. Our seventh award of the evening was India Retail Champion, Consumer Durables and IT, CDIT. Ladies and gentlemen, at that time the winner wasn't here, but he is here now. Please welcome on stage the winner, Happy Mobiles. Congratulations to Happy Mobiles. Thank you very much, Mr. Korean, Mr. Rajakopalan. We'll call you up in a short while to present the Retail Startup Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go directly to the Retail Startup Awards. The Retailers Association of India, RAI, is the unified voice of retailers in India. And it is happy to present the Retail Startup Awards 2023. Retail Startup Awards have been instituted to celebrate the spirit of entrepreneurship. It's a recognition of the indomitable spirit that drives entrepreneurs to convert their dreams into reality and their ideas into business. With their out-of-the-box solutions, their innovative solutions, startups are changing not just the world of business, but also our lifestyles. The awards, therefore, are an acknowledgement of their contribution and a salute to the spirit that makes it possible. Today, the awards are considered a beacon that inspired new entrepreneurs to dream, dare, and innovate. Ladies and gentlemen, we shortlisted eight brands from the many, many applications received. We shortlisted eight brands from the many, many entries received that made their, that, and these eight brands were invited to make their presentations this afternoon before our jury. We are grateful to our jury who evaluated all these eight presentations and spent a considerable time in doing so. Thank you very much to Mr. Suhail Sattar, Director Basics, Hasbro Clothing Private Limited. Can we have a round of applause? Thank you so much, sir. And to Mr. K. Radhakrishnan, Chief Executive Officer, Starquick from the Tata Group. The top eight brands that qualified are 100% Nourishment Private Limited, Coffee Codes India Private Limited, Italia Creative and Merchandising Private Limited, or Edamama, and Gabs Print Mart Private Limited, My Paperclip. Skandanchi Retail Private Limited, The Silk Road, Women's India Personal Care Private Limited, and Yellow Dwelling Private Limited. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to go straight and announce the awards. And I'd like to invite on stage our presenters. The members of our jury, Mr. Suhail Sattar, Director, Basics, Hasbro Clothing Private Limited. Sir, could you please come up on stage? Our second jury member, Mr. K. Radhakrishnan, Chief Executive Officer, Starkwick, Tata Group. And Mr. Biju Kurian, Chairman, Retailers Association of India. Ladies and gentlemen, the second runner-up Retail Startup Awards. And the winner of the second runner-up award is Women's India Personal Care Private Limited. Let's put our hands together for the team that presented from outside Mumbai on Zoom. They are not here, but we will have their trophy sent to them. But let's put our hands together once again for the winner, the second runner-up. Ladies and gentlemen, the first runner-up Retail Startup Awards. The first runner-up the Retail Startup Awards is the Silk Road Shobitam. The Silk Road Shobitam. These winners also presented on Zoom 
from the United States of America and we will have at considerable expense have that trophy sent to them <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen we do have the winners here with us today and the winner retail startup awards is we'll do this together okay ready to go anybody any guesses any of the eight teams or six teams that are here any ideas ladies and gentlemen the, the winner of the, the retail startup right? awards is yellow, yellow dwelling, dwelling private, private limited. limited yellow dwelling private limited there we have the ladies team there let's put our hands together very loudly for the winner yellow dwelling private limited Thank you very much to Mr. Suhail Sattar, Mr. K. Radhakrishnan and Mr. Biju Kurian for doing the honours. Mr. Biju Kurian? Mr. Kurian? Uh, so thank you very much Hugo for comparing this evening. Thank you for all the award winners. Uh, as Kumar mentioned in the beginning, there is a lot that happens, but only a few get recognized. Certainly those who have not been recognized don't need to be disheartened by the fact that they have not been recognized. There is work that they are doing, and I think the fact that you've reached this space amongst many others who've participated in these, I wouldn't call it a competition, but I would certainly say these opportunities to be able to showcase your skills. Uh, and that is where I think all of you all require a great applause. So let me ask everybody to applaud those who participated but did not become winners. The other thing that we were discussing earlier in the morning was about how can RAI become an opportunity for startups to be able to take baby steps in terms of go-to-market strategies. And one of the biggest challenges a lot of startups face is the fact that they, they, know, that what, they know what they're doing, they're confident about what they're doing, they believe what they're doing is going to solve a genuine problem that the customer faces, but they feel that you know prospective customers don't recognize the value that they can add to their businesses. And this is a huge challenge that we've seen in the startup space because big companies who are ideally the candidates for you know, testing out all these new technologies feel that they don't want to upset the apple cart by experimenting with a startup. And we at RAI believe that we have a great opportunity. The first is to be able to recognize the work that startups are doing, and the second is to be able to create a runway where startups can actually use the solutions that they have created to good effect by participating in these with retailers, and that combination should help a lot of startups to be able to gain traction as fast as possible. The third that we think is that when you actually chase a problem, you understand what you think is a solution for that problem, but in the pursuit of chasing that problem, you discover many more applications which could be possible. Some people call it a pivot because you turn 180 degrees. Some people create, create a little shift from what they originally set out to do. But in either case, in several of these opportunities, you will find new solutions for what you've actually started out to do. So let me encourage you by saying that what you're doing is something 
which is going to solve mankind's problem. Let me also encourage you that if you feel at the end of the day disappointed at the fact that you've still not solved mankind's problem, don't worry, you will certainly find that solution further down the road. So wish you all, all the best and everything, uh, all the best for all the future endeavors that you do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to Mr. Biju Kurian and a warm round of applause for those very insightful uh, observations that he made. Ladies and gentlemen, what he said is correct. Uh, we are all winners. Every one of those who participated is a winner and deserve to feel that they're winners. Uh, our judges had a very, very tough time. They've actually selected the first among equals. So please give everybody a huge round of applause once again, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen from the Retail Startup Awards, this is Hugo D'Souza. This is Shalaka Apte. Saying good evening, God bless, enjoy the rest of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, in fact, every time Mr. Biju Kurian said startup, the ears in my stomach would flutter. They were hearing starters. Okay, so <laughs> starters will be served right now. The bar is open. Um, it's a spirited evening ahead of you. And we have a band, we've got lots of music.